I've played volleyball since I was seven or eight, uh, just recreationally and stuff. My mom played in college, so she wanted me to play since I was young. Um, so I started playing, and I was playing club volleyball whenever I had the first surgery, and the skiffy happened. I first met Erica uh, in the emergency room, actually, or after she had uh, come to the emergency room for uh, hip pain, and she was diagnosed with a slipped capital femoral epiphysis. Uh, we often refer to that as a skiffy because of the SCFE from slipped capital femoral epiphysis. It's a hip condition that adolescents can develop where the ball actually moves relative to the rest of the thigh bone through the growth plate at the top of the thigh bone. So you have the ball of your femur and you have a growth plate on top of it and my growth plate essentially slipped. So. Yeah, so they had to pin that back in place, and that was when I was 12. It's a problem that, if not caught quickly and treated, can lead to a lot of problems. Now, fortunately, hers was caught relatively early, um, and hers was a little unique because of the way it slipped. Hers was a little more atypical, and she's more of an atypical kid in that she's a tall, thin, athletic girl uh, playing you know, high-level volleyball. For the kind of slip Erica had, the gold standard for that is when they first present, we put a screw into the ball to keep it from wanting to slip anymore. We call that in situ pinning. And for most kids, especially if it's a very mild slip, that may be all they ever need. Um, for more severe slips, they may need some reconstruction down the road. So through her high school years, uh, Erica actually did quite well and, and played volleyball at a really high level. Um, ended up with a scholarship to Tulsa University for uh, volleyball, which was an incredible accomplishment. Um, but she came back again when she was a sophomore in college because she was starting to have more pain. And the pain got to the point where she couldn't play at a level that she needed to play at and it was really interfering with her activities. It was causing me to not be able to practice during the week. I would just play in games on the weekends a lot of the time um, and so it was really hindering that. So she had what we call acetabular dysplasia meaning that not only was the ball in an abnormal position but the socket wasn't covering the ball normally. So all of these things together puts an enormous amount of stress on the hip. So we did a big reconstructive surgery to give her better mechanics, um, give her better motion, hopefully to reduce her pain or take her pain away uh, and get her rehabbed and get her back to, to volleyball. It was really nice touching the volleyball again. I had done some little stuff like passing and setting to myself in a chair, just standing around, but it was nice to be able to actually run around and pass and dive and jump again. I was pretty nervous to have to get through that, but getting back on the court kept me going. The fact that she's so motivated and so driven, but she's got such a big heart, and yes, there were little setbacks along the way with therapy and, and different things, but she never let that get her down, and she always knew what she wanted, and that makes such a huge difference, um, because so much of getting better is up to the patient after surgery. We can only do so much, and it's up to them, and she's just really just an incredible spirit and worked incredibly hard to do that. I hoped that I would get to be back to the player that I was before the surgeries, but um, and I hope that would happen, but you just never know what is going to happen and if, uh, yeah, you really just never know, and so I'm really glad that I got to where I am now.